Hello everyone. So today we are going to be talking about very important problem. So the problem name is linked list cycle. In this we are given a linked list and we are told to find whether that linked list has a cycle in it or not. Let us do the description. So here they have given a head. Okay, the head of the linked list determine whether it determine if the linked list has cycle in it or not. Okay, there is a cycle in the linked list. If there is some node in the in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer okay internally pos is used to denote the index of the node that the tails next pointer is connected to okay and note that the pos is not passed the parameter okay so ps is used to determine uh, where the cycle starts okay it is given it is used internally but it is not given as a parameter return true if this if the if there is a cycle in english otherwise return false as simple as that okay so example is here in this case is 321320 minus 4 minus 4 is the last one which is connected again the next pointer is connected to uh, so index 1 okay so that's why position is minus uh, one year and uh, you can see we are returning true because there is a cycle you can see there is a cycle in this so we are returning true and uh, another example is this one 1 and 2 position is 0 which is used internally and we are returning true because there is a cycle you can see after 2 we are again coming to the uh one okay that is the cycle here in this there is no cycle only one is there so position is minus 1 okay so return is false there is no cycle in this linked list okay and the constants are the power of the of the node in the list is in the range from 0 to 10 to the power 4 okay and the values can be minus 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 5 okay both inclusive and position is minus 1 or any valid index of the linked list okay it can be having minus 1 if it is false in true case it can be having any in any a valid index okay can you solve in order of 1 okay that's constant memory they are giving a follow up let us try to solve that so let us understand the problem in better and then we'll be uh, jumping to the code part so here is an example okay uh, to understand what the problem is all about So here, suppose we have two uh, two types of uh, linked list. One is which is having a cycle, okay. Another which is not having a cycle, okay. So what is the difference between both of them? The difference is simple that we'll be having a null in this cycle and we'll not be having a null in this cycle, okay. The last pointer will be pointing to some of the nodes in between, so that there is a cycle, okay. So this, so this is a cyclic linked list, okay, and this is not a cycle. There is no cycle in this. so that's the basic difference and you can see what are the basic uh, cases that we can have in this so suppose if we have only one if we have only one uh, node so then there is no cycle possible correct even if there are uh, uh, zero zero no there is nothing the list is empty which means the head is pointing to the null okay so in that case also there is no cycle possible okay so for one and uh, for zero we have no cycle okay no cycle for 0 and 1 0 and 1 nodes okay when we have two when we have two uh, nodes then there is cycle possible okay and how we are going to be solving that problem okay so we have concept of fast pointer and slow pointer okay so basically let me exam uh, let me take an example here suppose my uh, slow pointer is pointing to the head and fast pointer is also pointing to the head okay so what our uh, thought is that we will be moving our fast pointer by two steps and slow pointer by one step and why we are doing that because if there is a cycle then the fast will be going around and there is a certainty that it is going to be meeting the slow pointer let us take the example in this case only so suppose our both starting initially they will be having at uh, same position only and starting will be incrementing them slow pointer will be incremented and it will be going here so slow pointer will be here and at the same time fast pointer will be jumping two steps so it will come to here okay so this will be moving here now again slow pointer will be uh, moving to the one position and fast pointer moving to the two positions so fast pointer will be jumping from here to here and slow pointer will be coming here correct now again fast pointer will be jumping two steps so one step and two steps okay so, so yeah it will be coming here 
and slow pointer at the same time will be jumping one position so it will be coming here okay we need to check the position when whenever both of them completed completes uh, both of them faster jumps two times slower jumps one time okay so faster will be again jumping two steps so faster is here so it will be jumping two steps so one and two okay fast comes here and slow comes here slow jumps one step so slow and fast both meet at this position five so whenever they meet at any position we are sure that there is a cycle okay but in case of uh, not cycle position suppose slow is here fast is here fast jumps uh, two position so it comes here slow position comes here now you can see we have fast positions and uh, next is null okay so in that case we will be making sure that null is there which means there is no cycle possible even there is a case something like this one two three and four okay then we will be having null so in that case also fast is here it jumps here then again it will be going to be checking two positions ahead that fast is uh, fast next is next is null so in that case also there is no cycle possible okay so that's the conditions here so uh, let us jump to the code and see the um, explanation for that so here is a code example so let us see the cases so it's a just a function okay so it will return true whenever there is a cycle and return false whenever there is not a cycle the first condition that we are checking is that if we have only one node okay and if we have only zero node so zero node can, condition is this one that our head, head is all, head itself is null uh, or if head head or head dot next is null okay so in both of the cases we are going to be returning false okay any one of them we will be returning false here and then we'll be having this fast pointer and slow pointer okay both of them will be starting at the head okay initially they will be pointing at the same position now what we are doing we are checking the condition that fast dot next not equals to null okay fast dot next is not equals to null which means which means that the fast is at the last node okay and fast dot next dot next not equals to null which means it is the second last node second last node fast is standing and after two position ahead one second position null will be there so in both of the cases will be just uh, both of if both of the uh, cases are false which means we are going to be continuing this loop otherwise we'll be simply coming out of this and returning false here okay so this condition should be uh, true in this case which which condition that fast dot next should not be equal to null and fast dot next dot next should not be equal to null if both of the cases are true then we'll be uh, we'll be just looping this we'll be doing this fast will be jumping two times so fast equals to fast dot next dot next and slow will be jumping one time slow equals to slow dot next and if they are both of them meeting at some position which we have seen okay then we'll be returning true otherwise we'll be returning false so this is a simple problem and this is a sub problem and uh, to a problem which we'll be solving in the future so uh, just uh, have, uh, get a good practice of this and try to understand in a better way okay so that's it for this video let's try to run the code again and see the output for this one so you can see we are accepted this solution and let let us try to submit this problem you can see we have submitted successfully okay so thank you for watching